If you've ever seen whales before, you've probably noticed that there are sometimes small white bumps along their skin. These are called barnacles, and they are actually animals. They have a reputation for being tough and resilient. But beneath their hard cement-like shells lies a world filled with bizarre and fascinating adaptations that make them some of the most unique creatures in the deep blue world. When I used to live in Southern California, I saw these guys everywhere, and at the time, I didn't really think too much of them. After studying and learning about them, they are indeed really incredible and interesting. Barnacles may not seem related to crabs and lobsters at first glance and look more like clams and oysters, but they belong to the same group, crustaceans. They are small, white, and cone-shaped, with them having six plates that basically form a circle around them, looking like miniature volcanoes. These plates are made up of hard calcium. Another four plates form a thing that is referred to as the door. It's right here in the middle of the shell. It's called the door because it can open and close depending on the given tide. When the tide recedes, barnacles close up shop to conserve moisture. And when the tide comes in, a mussel opens the door so they can feed. Speaking of feeding, they use feather-like appendages called cirri. The cirri rapidly extend and retract through that opening, which was the door. When extended, they comb the water, extracting microorganisms like plankton, making them filter feeders. Barnacles are also opportunistic feeders, capable of adjusting their feeding behavior based on environmental conditions. For example, during periods of strong currents, barnacles may extend their cirri to maximize food capture, while during calm periods, they may retract their cirri to conserve energy. Like almost all species, they of course have predators. Some of these include many types of starfish, ribbon worms, and dogwinkles, which are a type of sea snail. However, the biggest predator of barnacles are of course humans. Their taste has been described as tasting like sweet lobster. The real awesomeness about these crazy creatures is their ability to literally stick to anything, from rocks to ship hulls, other barnacles, and whales mentioned earlier. While barnacles are pretty much harmless, they can sometimes kill sea life, like sea turtles. Take a look at this sea turtle here, where there are hundreds of barnacles that are absolutely overwhelming the turtle. When there are too many of them in one spot, they can cause damage to the sea creature's skin, creating and opening wounds that can unfortunately lead to infections. The amount of weight can also weigh down sea creatures, affecting their ability to swim. They are definitely not picky on where they want to attach themselves to. Barnacles are often nicknamed a superglue of the sea, for good reason. They are able to withstand strong waves and tidal movements. They do this by secreting a fast-curring cement from a plate on the underside that is among one of the most powerful natural glues known. These glues are so incredibly strong that researchers are actually carefully studying it for potential products in the medical industry. Some barnacle species can live up to 10 years, others up to 20. Even when they do die, they actually remain attached to whatever they stuck themselves to. If you're wondering how they move to these spots, the short answer is they actually kind of don't. When they are young larvae, they travel through the ocean currents until they find a place to settle. They are sessile animals, which means they don't move once they settle down. Pretty interesting, right? Barnacles have also been a subject of extensive biological research. Charles Darwin, the famous naturalist, spent over eight years studying barnacles before publishing his work on natural selection. Darwin's research on barnacles helped him refine his ideas about evolution and contributed to his understanding of species variation and adaptation. And that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.